Buying a car and going through all the paperwork, financial checks, and price haggling is exhausting enough. But if you have a low credit score, it often means having to accept a high interest rate, sometimes as high as 30%. A new program helps you refinance high car loans while getting credit counseling, providing lots of customers with information and much-needed financial relief. We welcome Vice President of Community Development for Harborstone Credit Union, Mark Minichello, and Executive Director of Sound Outreach, Jeff Klein. It's good to have you both here. Thank you, Margaret. This is Thank such you. a good idea. It's, an, it's not just relief, but it's also, you know, the kind of education that you need to stay out of trouble after that. That's right. And that's the whole plan, really. It's, it's, a, it's a piece of the puzzle. Uh, we were able to, uh, Harborstone is a not-for-profit cooperative, mm -hmm. a credit union, and we're also what's uh, called a CDFI, a Community Development Financial Institution. That uh, designation was received because we have a mission of service to low-income people, but it allowed us to compete for government grants, and we were able to get a grant in 2017 to work with Sound Outreach, and I know we're going to hear a little bit more about yeah. that. Uh, and this is one of the products uh, as part of that partnership. Uh, that allow us to really kind of accelerate people's financial empowerment and really excited to be uh, here today and let your viewers know about and that. And truly move people to a better place or they get to move themselves to a better place. It's called the Restart Program, Jeff, right? How did this collaboration come about? Oh, that's a great question. So um, Sound Outreach is down in Tacoma, Washington. We serve Pierce County and um, we were kind of a normal nonprofit uh, serving people with things like access to public benefits, mm -hmm. um, I came from the food bank world when I took over there in 2015, and I, I just started to wonder um, how can we help people sort of avoid getting to a place in their lives where they need to access food banks or they need to uh, use food stamps. So uh, we started a financial counseling program, mm -hmm. and our counselors meet one on one with individuals and, uh, you know, working on their credit scores, working on reducing debt, and we realized there were lots of people who could benefit from a loan, but had insufficient credit, and, or their vehicle loan, for example, was way underwater. Um, so we, we needed a partner, yeah. a financial institution partner to do that. The, the fact that you're doing this gives me such hope because I think we all know how easy it is for people to get into trouble. People yeah. get, and my son used to get credit card um, acceptances before he had a job. And I would think, what are, what are you right. doing? And then you rack up some bills, and before you know it, you're in that situation where you've got 20, 30 percent interest, and you're mm -hmm. in a hole you can't get out of. So, how did you develop what you wanted to do? Which part information? Which part relief? To to help people get into a better place and to learn how to manage themselves going forward. Right. So for us, it was all about removing barriers. Um, our counselors would be in these conversations with people, and and creating relationships over time. Mm -hmm. So if there's a natural way to get your credit score up, see, a lot of people just don't, don't know the rules involved How would credit. you know if you haven't had a chance to learn? Yeah, them? I'm a 45 year old adult. I don't understand all the rules, but my counselors do. They're super smart. So they could help people uh, r understand how to boost a credit score mm -hmm. and what that means for their finances. If, you're, if an APR and a loan comes down, you can save a couple hundred dollars a month. Right. If you reduce your debt, uh, you just have more ease in your life uh, with your financial challenges that you have to face. So, um, Which we, is good for everything, right? Your whole emotional outlook can change absolutely. if you're not quite so tight Absolutely. All the time. That scarcity mindset can really affect decision making. Um, it affects how people um, just function in their in their day-to-day -day lives. And, you know, truthfully, uh, it's it's harder and harder to make ends meet in Pierce County and King County. Right. So we, we looked at things like uh, how much you spend on check cashing fees if you can't access a bank account. And some people can spend up to $1,000 a year if they don't have wow. access to a bank account. And you're already low income, so that costs a lot of money. We looked at these uh, vehicle loans and people are paying $600 a month at 29% interest. So um, how could we help those folks when the value of their loan is $20,000, but the car is right. only worth 10000 When you start out underwater and get more right. so as you go along your way. So what is a consumer experience when they come into this process? Right, well, it's, a, it's kind of a wraparound experience, as Jeff uh, mentioned. They'll work with a sound outreach counselor, and then they're matched with products, again, underneath this grant that help that uh, counseling prog uh, um, 
progress. Um, as you mentioned, Margaret, um, so many people kind of fell into a lot of high interest loans around the recession, yep. and it's just a kind of a spiral. It's very hard to dig out of it. So while they're working with a financial uh, a counselor from Sound Outreach, we can refinance their high interest loans mm -hmm. because we're working in this partnership. It doesn't matter that they have low uh, credit score. They've shown that commitment to work on that with a Sound Outreach counselor. And it doesn't go to nothing. It goes right. you know, somewhere exactly in the middle right. because there are costs you know involved with dealing with things that are that are uncertain right so right. you're not going to get out of a 30 percent loan to a two percent loan but you're no. going to get some relief you're going to get some relief and that's the whole intent is now to free up some money in that budget to continue working on improving their credit so that they're going to be uh, better off at the at the very end they're yeah. going to have that financial empowerment that we're really hoping. And it looks like more and more your credit score is a proxy for a lot of things. Employers yeah. are checking on that. Mm -hmm. Colleges can check that. Different things you apply to. So this is something that affects all areas of our life, not just our financial right. life. Most correct? people don't know that your credit score is often tied to your e even your car insurance premium. Right. Yeah. It's being used to determine how much you pay monthly for your vehicle insurance. And it's so weird because we have these credit score outfits that none of us signed up for and yet they're Right. They've got this information, so until right. that game changes, we, right. we have to be aware of it. And as families get a budget together and they learn better how to manage things and they get some emotional and financial relief, how do you find they react to that? Well, it, it's interesting because it's, um, it's sort of when you have the knowledge and the information that you didn't have before, and you also have a financial counselor who is really a coach and a cheerleader, not someone telling you what to do, but just giving you the information. Our counselors often talk about how they're, the people they're working with will say, I, I got this extra money on my tax refund, and I, I heard your voice, and I know what I'm going to do with it now, and so they don't go out and spend it on the things right. that they, they did before. The best example of this relationship with the auto refinancing, uh, we help save an individual $200 a month on her auto loan, and she put money away in savings without telling her financial counselor. And when her tires blew out on her vehicle, she had money to replace those tires. Right. If and that's life-changing. If she was, were driving around with her predatory auto loan at 29%, uh, underwater on the loan, and she had blown out her tires, she couldn't get to work. And if she can't get yeah. to work, she can't pay back the car loan. If she can't pay back the car loan, the car gets taken away. Right. And now she really she can't, really get, can't to get to work. But she saved the money from the auto refi. She put it away for a rainy day. It came in handy when she needed the, the money and she could still continue going on to work and, and start saving more money for that rainy day fund. That's really awesome, yeah. and I can only imagine the difference in her just well-being, being able to do that as opposed to knowing you're living on the brink of some disaster all the time. Thank you both so much. Uh, to find out more about the Restart Auto Refinance Program, you will find a link on our website. And for more on Harborstone Credit Union's various services, please visit harborstone.com, and we'll have that information as well. When we come back, it's all about the curb appeal, five tips and tricks to make your place look great for springtime. Thank you.